Hi, this is a quick demo for the modern registry community and in today's video we're going to focus on two main aspects, how to install modern registry inside the Kubeflow and how to make use of it from integrating with uh, some components and additional heads-on. The first step is that we will need a Kubeflow. Now, it's not the focus of uh, this presentation to showcase how to install Kubeflow. I will just briefly explain the steps that I followed on my machine. There are different steps that you can take, but um, they mainly start by going to the website. And if you go to get started installing Kubeflow, you will find the several instructions and several possibilities. What I've been uh, using are the Rob Kubeflow manifest. Personally, I've installed them on a Minikube installation. And uh, once you follow the instruction, you will end up with a Kubernetes cluster where Kubeflow is installed and you will have access to the Kubeflow dashboard, something like this. And as you can see, for now, it's empty. We are going to come back later to the Kubeflow dashboard to integrate uh, Modern Registry from the notebooks. The second step now is that uh, we are going to need the Kubeflow Modern Registry repository because it contains some of the manifests that are needed to install Modern Registry. Now, the manifest eventually will become part of the Kubeflow manifest, so you will have them out of the box, uh, but this is not the case at the time of recording this demo. What we are going to do now is that uh, we are going to check out this repository, and as you can see, I have here the repository checkout. So now what I can do is that I can kubectl apply, uh, the manifest, uh, I want the... Uh, the customize, I want first the overlays and I want to install the one uh, that is for MySQL and then I also want, uh, since uh, the out-of-the-box installation comes with Istio, I will also apply the Istio configuration. So with the, all the manifest are now, now installed, we can go back to the dashboard of uh, Kubernetes and uh, we need to wait uh, that uh, the deployment uh, comes into full effect, as you can see. So now the modern registry is available inside of uh, our, Q, our Kubernetes and Kubeflow. With the modern registry now deployed inside of Kubeflow, I can make a quick check uh, by interacting with uh, the REST API, and your result may be slightly different depending on your configuration, uh, but this uh, showcase that uh, both in the dashboard and by invoking the REST API, this is a uh, working uh, case pattern. So now we can move on some uh, second topics on how to make use of the modern registry from a notebook and integrating it with add-ons. So now we can focus on some example integration by other components or head-on. And I will start uh, with the one from the notebooks. So I'm going to create a notebook I'm going to create it as a notebook uh, server one. I need uh, to select the image I want. For the scope of this demo, I will need uh, some uh, uh, resources because uh, of the training that I will make and um, because I will make some connection to an S3 compatible bucket, I also apply the needed configuration. The server is created and we can connect to it. So I skipped ahead and installed uh, all the requirement, required dependencies. And uh, for the purpose of this demo, uh, I will have running examples where we will make some uh, machine learning training. And uh, I will also train the model and index that in model registry after having stored it or imported it as needed. Uh, so the running demo is a typical MNIST example. So our goal will be that given a data set uh, for some images and the label, which is the number, the digit that we want to recognize, uh, then we want to make a prediction given a new image, what is the labels that we want to apply. So pretty simple standard MNIST uh, uh, 101. So what I can do here in this um, uh, notebook is that I will start some training. I uh, will start some training and uh, we will give it the chance uh, to finalize the machine learning training. It has finished training and as we can see, we've run in some metrics. Uh, we can even have a quick demonstration. Yeah, we're giving it this image. It predicts is the digit number four. 
I typically save this one as an Onyx file. I can make the demo using the Onyx file. This is a typical dry run that I prefer to always do. Here I have my connection on where to save it in the S3 bucket and then S3 compatible bucket. And in this case, I'm going to use the model registry to index that in the model registry. As we can see, we follow a few steps. The registration is uh, uh, this line, basically. And uh, the other lines are returning to us uh, the different uh, logical modeled entities that have been created in the, inside the model registry using the clients and uh, that represent the data that has been indexed as we have requested. So this is say for the first version of a model. Let's move now to a new version. In this other version of the notebook, we will do similarly, but uh, with the difference is going to be that uh, I'm going to use a different type of uh, machine learning algorithm. Uh, so in this case, uh, it's uh, still a neural network, but uh, done in a different way. I will leave uh, the, the notebook uh, links uh, for more details, uh, but this is not really the focus for today's demo. What I want to highlight is that maybe the data scientists in this case will perform uh, different types uh, of uh, uh, run of uh, machine learning training. And therefore, in this case, uh, we want to save uh, again the models that we've done. We store them in an S3 compatible bucket and then we've registered this uh, other version inside of modern registry. So this is a way that we can say, hey, yes, uh, now I have a new uh, version available. In this other notebook, I'm doing uh, slightly differently. I'm using the modern registry Python client uh, to instead import from an existing um, repository on a hugging face. Uh, so again, similar concept, except that uh, what we are indexing on model registry is something that is being kind of imported from Hugging Face. And um, as a final example of integration, I have here this uh, other notebook where what I'm going to do is that uh, I'm going to use the metadata information that is indexed inside of a model registry uh, to deploy an inference service uh, custom resource that uh, will appear for endpoints here because I have KServe installed. This is just an example on how the metadata from Model Registry can be used to integrate with other components or add-on in this case. Uh, but again, uh, there are different uh, possibilities that are going to be uh, explored. So what I'm going to do here is that, oh yes, I forgot the dependency. And with the dependency fully installed, uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to follow simple tutorial from uh, KServe SDK in this case. So what I'm going to use uh, are these versions, uh, this metadata from the model registry that I've uh, indexed inside of model registry in the previous steps. So of course you are welcome to modify this example script to do something differently. And uh, with this, I'm going to create a custom resource, an inference service custom resource. So if I go here, uh, to the endpoints in the Kubeflow dashboard, uh, you will see that uh, this uh, is now reflected. So these are just uh, a quick demo uh, of an example on how to install modern registry inside of a Kubeflow. Uh, what we went through are the manual installation of the manifest. As mentioned, they will become part of the out of the box manifest from uh, Qflow, but this is not the case at the time of recording this demo. So we went through the steps to install those manifests uh, manually by checking out uh, this repository. I invite you to check out uh, this repository for as well all the information about the several components on Modern Registry, how you can build it also locally in case you wanted to modify and I invite you to join on the community. Then we've also seen the steps on uh, how to integrate model registry. We've seen a couple of examples integrating it from the notebook uh, or to integrate it with the inference endpoints. And finally, I want to remember you that uh, inside of the Kubeflow uh, website, uh, if you go to the community, you will find uh, the uh, model registry, but not only model registry as well, all the working groups of the Kubeflow community. So I invite you to engage uh, with uh, our modern registry uh, working group, but as well with the, all the other working groups as, as well with the Kubeflow community in general. And I hope this uh, 
video was interesting and gives some of the idea of these integration points. And I will see you at the next one.